All right, so I'm out of town, currently at my hotel room, but before that, we actually picked up some of these mystery packs from Walgreens. Actually, uh, we don't have Walgreens in Canada, so today we're gonna actually open them. Um, honestly, do I recommend these? I don't know, we'll see, 25 bucks for this. Well, the average per pack will be $6, which is not bad. However, these, the average price for these, this is basically $8.99 and this one is $9.99. Um, yeah, probably not worth it, but I saw these and I was like, yo, those kind of look cool. If there's evolving skies, that might actually be pretty nice. But let's go ahead and just open these up first. I think the cheaper one is this one, starting off with the $8 one. Again, I don't know what the packs are. I've seen these like videos and people were, they were out for a while. So maybe there's something cool and old in these packs, but it looks like it's just a brilliant star pack and a random rowlet. I know the biggest difference between this and this is the code card. For a dollar, you get a code card. Meh. But uh, let's just open both of them to see if there's something cool. Seated pack, one in uh, 10. But yeah, I mean, Brilliant Star is not bad. I mean, it's not amazing. I think some people have gotten like, what's it called? Burning Shadows. And that would be create that. It's got a like, random dark ride. That's cool. And then we got a Shining Fates. Actually, Shining Fates is not bad, I think. It's all right, cool. I'll take the Shining Fates. Shining Fates, dark ride. So at least a hit, but oh my God. This card is damaged. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a little dinged up on the side. I'll put it on the side here, but uh, let's open this up. Brilliant stars. It's nice. Like, technically speaking, if you buy it and you hold it, it's kind of cool because even like a brilliant stars in the future could be worth a little bit of money and we didn't get a hit. So, we're, I mean, we might still be able to get something because of the, um, what's it called? The, uh, I forgot the name of it, Trainer Gallery. Or has it been in gallery? Not yet. But uh, taking a look, Shinx, Misery, Impity Beat, Berry, that's our foil, and Lapras. So nothing there. Shining Fates, I mean, I haven't opened Shining Fates in such a long time. So low key, it's not bad. Again, these are not worth much, the Shining Fate packs, unfortunately. But it'd be kind of cool. But opening them, it's, it's still better than not having them. It could be worse, right? It could be, I don't know what. Actually, like, the cool thing is it's not. Um, Scarlet and Violet packs, it's actually Sword and Shield. So you actually have a chance to get like Evolving Skies, and even in the future, you might be able to get like, um, like I think Fusion Strike might be pretty good value there. Ooh, Reshiram and a, oh cool. All right, got a full art. So two, two hits, technically speaking. Not bad, not bad. Again, value-wise, I paid $8 US, so about $12 Canadian, which is kind of crazy, but we'll take a look at this pack here, uh, Silver Tempest, and like, I get a cold card, which I guess is nice. Oh, that's actually a good cold card. It's a Sun Moon Guardian Rising Jet Challenge Solgaleo. And then our hit is a, a Brulum. But yeah, maybe, maybe you like to hold these like long term. Maybe. $10 is crazy for a pack. Like, even like Burning Shadow is $10. Maybe a little more. And then you get a Pokemon Go pack, you just cry, right? You just cry when you get a Pokemon Go pack because. This is hot garbage. And then, what's the cool card here? Oh, Power Tin, Eevee. And then you got a Starmie. So, yeah, I mean, do I regret buying those packs? Yes. Because for the price, you could probably have gotten one of these for the price of two of these. So, but content, we don't have this here in the US. I don't, you know what? Let's just skip it because, oh, Motras. Is there anything worth? No. We're looking through here. Anyway, take a look at Silver Tempest. Maybe we'll pull something good. A nice little banner would be cool here. A little, little card. Okay, we got a hit. So, hit. Give me a little hit banger here. All right, Darkness Energy. Ferratum. Toxico. Professor Lapton. Smurgle. Esper. Lutini. Shitu. Okay, so we did a Toxic Chrome Reverse Hollow. And our hit is going to be a Chestnut. All right, so we at least got a hit though, so. Better than nothing. All right, but the main, oh, I apologize, I apologize. I totally just hit my camera. Main reason you buy these is this here. Honestly, I'd rather hold on to these. It's cause, you know, of honest guys is nice. What year is this thing? 2024, so actually, I feel like these are not gonna be great. If they're released in 2024, that means that they're probably not Evolving Skies, even though the box says Evolving Skies. But again, let's see. The boxes are small, so they're kind of very easy to kind of hold on. So let's take a look at the packaging. Not bad. Looks like we actually have Fusion Strike, so that's cool. Fusion Strike. What do we have? We have, okay, Astro Radiant, Pokemon Go, Silver Tempest, 
So realistically, I'd probably hold on to this short and simple voltage, just a regular code card. Yeah, I mean, Pokemon Go packs. Anytime you get a Pokemon Go pack, all you can do is cry because it's probably the worst Sword and Shield pack out there, honestly. Like, like out of all the holiday sets that were out, Pokemon Go were just not worth it. You could do that. That's cool. Like, come on. I know, I'm jumping through it. That's how much I really don't like the packs. Um, let's go with Astro Radiant. Still haven't pulled the Machamp yet. Probably not going to get the Machamp. But it'd be kind of dope if we did pull the Machamp. Cool card, if you guys want it. There you go. Give me your four cards. Ah, I'm messing up everything here. All right. Let's see. All right. Leaf Energy. Togetic. First shot. Pergoli. I have a good feeling about this. Heracross. Mantine. Quillifish. Basculin, Puccinia, Rivers Hollow Quilava, damn, Glacier. Unlucky. All right, uh, Fusion Strike, Silver Tempest. We got two Silver Tempest packs, I just realized. Two Silver Tempest packs? No, that was actual read. Oh, no hits. Damn. Okay, I ruined it. I apologize, guys. Nothing there. All right, Silver Tempest, give me the Lugia. I said Astro Rainid. I wanted him a champ. Yeah, I kind of want to hold on to those, but $25 at least per pack. You're not paying too bad. You're paying $6 per pack, which honestly could be worse. But for Sword and Shield packs, which I guess is cool. All right. Lovely. Hot Stone, Sun Current. Clink. Batili, Litten, Reverse Hollow Serena, Murkrow, and a... Yeah, that was an absolutely terrible, terrible box. I don't recommend opening these. I mean, again, the packs are not like terrible because I'd rather have these packs than most Scarlet or Violet packs. I legit haven't really opened anything except for recently I started opening Twilight Masquerade because Greninja. I'm a huge Greninja fan. I, I did open the Greninja from the Shrouded Fable packs. And the Shrouded Fable, that, that, was, that was fire. Like, I don't know if I posted it already as a convention, but that was fire. Like, I got I got the, the card I wanted, and I got a Greninja. All right, I think this looks exactly the same. So we'll see. There's an extra, extra cold card. Corbin Knight Battle D deck. Astral Radiant. Please no Pokemon Go Pack. Here's a Pokemon Go Pack. Silver Tempest is this exact same garbage. Ah, <sighs> yeah, absolute trash. Maybe if you get an Evolving Sky, it's cool, but I think holding onto it low-key might be not bad, like long-term-wise, just at least you have it. But I'll just jump through because even if there's something cool here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I said, even if you get something cool, we get a Charizard there. All right, give me the Charizard. We'll take that bad boy right there. A little Charizard Pokemon Go worth a couple bucks, so. I'm not too excited about that. Astral Radiant, still trying to get something good. So, last few packs, try to hide the code card because we are accidentally exposing the cards. But yeah, Pokemon Go, just not something I want. Oh, I keep exposing the code cards. But it's okay. Astral Radiant is also the uh, Trainer Gallery. So, if we have something in the Trainer Gallery, we just, just, just low key. No, nothing. Like, come on, give me something good. Two more packs, let's do a fusion strikes, and it was silver tempest. Get a Lugia, call it a video. But that, I mean, Radiant Char Charizard is probably one of the best you can get in this set. Okay, we got a hit here. So maybe we get the redemption arc a little one time. All right, so let's see. Energy, spongy glove, sand slash, woo Glossifer, we got the Mudkip, we got the Sancho, we got the Kufan. Cloyster, come on. Ah, oh, damn. That is our hit. That is our hit. Absolutely tragic. But, you know what? Last pack, magic. Let me look at the code. You guys can, make it. You guys can get the code. You guys can get the code. Hopefully you get something good. Give me one last card. Okay. Fire, okay. Fire for the fire. Regenerative energy. Un unidentified fossil. Drowsy. Spinarak, Chops, Krogan, Solasis, Swabu, and Kowalian. All right, well, all that just to get a Radiant Charizard. So, cool beans.
Uh, yeah, don't buy these packs. Unless you want to hold them. Holding them might be worth it just because in the futures, those packs might be not bad. But if you see them and you want to open them, don't. Pokemon Go never worth it, despite this being the best hit of everything. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.